Hello and welcome. It's Financial Modeling World Cup weekend this weekend, stage four, and we've been told that there's going to be a question opening the mystery box of actuarial finance uh, and with a slight taste of esports. I've done lots of videos on esports, but uh, no videos on actuarial finance because it's not a very common question topic. But uh, when you have a memory as long as mine, <laughs> uh, I can remember that long ago in uh, Model of 2018, round two, the only uh, actuarial question I've ever seen, I said I would try to do a video solve of this this weekend uh, for people getting ready for the FMWC, but uh, I don't have time to do that. So uh, I'm just going to zoom in on one particular aspect of it, which is this mortality table that's kind of the center of the case. I will get back to doing a, a walkthrough of this whenever I get to 2018. I'm working my way through 2016 at the moment. But so here's the idea. You get the probability of a cat currently age zero dying at each age. Uh, these sum up to 100%. So in other words, there's a 5.5% five, five chance that they die uh, before turning one, a 4% chance that they die at age one, a 2.6% chance that they die at age two, and so on, all the way down to age 23. Uh, and so, you know, in, in the question, we're looking at ensuring different cats who are different ages. And so, <clears throat> from this kind of actuarial table, you need to figure out things like what is the probability uh, that a cat lives to a certain age? What is the probability, given that a cat has lived to a certain age, that they die that year, and so on? Uh, so I'm just going to show you a couple of simple manipulations of this. So first one is probability uh, still alive at age. Uh, there's a few different ways you can do this, but um, well, probably the simplest one is just to type in 100%. Uh, oops, uh, in the first cell, and I always uh, make the first cell a different color if it's a different formula from the rest, and then just subtract off as you go down. Uh, and you get down to here, where 0.61% chance that you're still alive uh, in, in year 23, and then 0% after that. Uh, so then, probability of die this year given alive. And this is the very relevant one for insurance purposes. Uh, you know, if you're looking at insuring an eight-year-old cat, given this whole table, what is the probability that they'll die at age eight? Now, that's just the probability that they die in this year divided by the probability that they're still alive to get to that year. Uh, and again, you can give that more decimal places if you want. And so you can see the probability of, of dying at any given age obviously goes down. Uh, well, actually, it goes down and up and down. Uh, it goes, it's an interesting shape. Uh, but the probability of dying, given that you've made it to that year, uh, pretty much only goes up. Um, and so then this, this kind of feeds into uh, to all the calculations. Um, there, there's also some stuff around, you know, probability that you're still insured. Um, and so, you know, basically you have to wait, wait all the potential future payouts according to the probability that you'll die in a given year, the probability you'll still be insured in a given year, uh, discounted in various different ways and so on. But uh, this is literally just, like I said, focusing on how to use that mortality table, calculate some of these other statistics. Uh, that's all I got time for today. I will do a fuller walkthrough at some point, but thanks for watching. See you next time.